Greetings, flesh creatures. It is I, Megatron. On behalf of TFYLP, I want to congratulate you for listening to the most refined collector podcast on this miserable little planet Earth. Yes. Here you'll find knowledgeable fans discussing every aspect of Transformers and beyond. Now, enjoy the show while I continue my path to complete conquest of all of you miserable biological entities. Predacons, terrorize! Welcome once again to Cut the Tape. This is the show where I, Rick Alvarez, open things that I've been meaning to open for the last couple of years. So, I'm at the point in my display where I need to set this guy up. Now, usually with a solid box, as in you can't see the figure on the inside, I tend to get one. But, this is a combiner. So, uh... I need to get one to have in robot mode as yeah, Devastator, and I need to get one to have in individual modes. And because it's Devastator, I need to have one suit. So I already have one open, and I put the third party effects on it. So. This is my opening one. Yeah. Uh, this one? This is me opening one to have as a devastator. No. Alright, so that one stays sealed. That guy sealed. Alright. It's sealed. It's sealed. Let's cut the tape. And we have this to put on top of it. I'm a big IDW fan, so. I had to make sure I got this set. This is the set where Prowl becomes um, the de facto leader of the Constructicons. All right, let's open this from the top of the box. All right. Yeah. All right, the tape has been cut. Now, because I'm keeping this box, I'm going to be extra careful opening the flaps. I don't want to create any creases on the flaps. So what you can do sometimes, take that back of your knife, the non-sharp edge, and kind of nudge out the flap so that it doesn't get any creases on it. See, it's nice and straight. got our instruction booklet. We have our piece of cardboard. And this was, is what it looks like on the inside. I was always surprised that there was never a G2 version of this. I still want that. So, uh, there's no plastic tray. It's cardboard. And it doesn't look like been a while since I opened my first Devastator, so it doesn't look like anything is... Nope. No, nothing is uh, strapped down inside the cardboard display. <laughs> Alright. Alright. As for... Parts. Oh, it's got the little card right here. We're going to leave that in there. You know what? There we go. Alright, so we got the Devastator parts. I think we still have to open these because this only has. Right. Yep. So there's no hands with this. Oh, there are hands with this. 
there's no chest plate. So I do need to open this to get the chest plate out. I don't know how important bags like this are in the grand scheme of things when you go to sell a piece. So I'm not too worried about it ripping it. Did you ever notice that the the front tip looks kinda like Alvatron's gun? His arm cannon. So we got this. We're gonna hook these together. And we're gonna save those hands for another day. All right, let's see if we remember how to do this. <sighs> Actually, I bet you I should open this. So there was no tape on this. I did open it before because I wanted to uh, see if I needed any tools in order to do this. So this is the PC-06 Perfect uh, Combiner add-on set from Perfect Effect. It's got the prowl head, inspired by IDW. So this is what I'm talking. This is what I'm all about. This little thing right here. So in the comics, Scavenger dies. Scrapper dies. It's Scrapper. Scrapper gets killed. Prowl takes over, and Hook becomes the leg. And Prow becomes the top part of the combiner, so it's a Prow head. That was a good story. And then Scoop becomes the leg, and Hook goes back to being the top part where the head is attached. And Scoop was painted green. Alright, so we've got a new shovel here. Right. Thank you. It pops off very easily. There we go. It's pretty big. It looks a little oversized for it, but... Well, I'm happy with it. Uh, all right, how do we, we pull this out? No. As I said, it's been a while since, uh, oh no, I see. So that just plugs in there. I see. I see what's going on. Yay! All right, so we have our scavenger. We have attached our. Oh, we do need the hands. Ah, so we're actually taking part of the hands off. Okay, so we're taking, uh, okay. So we're taking these off and replacing them with this. So let's see. How the hell does this go in here again? <sighs> Be a kid again. Transform stuff. We'll be right back after these messages. Welcome back. I was not looking at the instructions. Don't look at that. I just needed to figure out how a certain piece went on, and I didn't want to uh, clog the show down. So, 
let's see. We've got hook. All right, we're going to take this and is this going to fit around here? Oh, yes. So we're going to take this off. Put this here. Oh, that's pretty smart. That's pretty smart. So there is a groove in here for uh, the pegs that connect hook to the back here to fit inside to create a little track for, uh, for this piece to slide up and down. That's pretty smart. That is, and it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Oh, yes, I've done it wrong. Just like everything else in life, I have done something wrong. Hey. There we go. Now we're going to take this clip and we clip this on to add extra stability to it so that it doesn't come out, so that these two pieces don't come off the hook. Excellent. Excellent. I am quite satisfied with this. Yes. Yes, indeed. Hmm. These parts go on. Oh. All right. So let's get combining. I am going to look at the instructions because I'm an old man. All right. All right. I'm just an old guy now. Oh no, I can't do it. The instructions do nothing. All right, so this is actually. There we go. That's where it is. Yep. So that fits there. This has to come out. Click in there. These back. Right. But this thing has pieces that go to it. Maybe not. But maybe yes. Oh, I see. So I need to attach hook to this thing. All right, let's do the legs. You know, for as impressive as this thing is, it's amazing that Scavenger, or Scrapper, sorry, he's still doing this. Here we are, 35 years later, and Scrapper's still doing that. I don't know. Call me crazy. But I feel I have done something else wrong. I never really played with this toy. This is why I don't like to transform things on this show, because it takes me it takes me forever. So I assume this has something to do with slide this thing in here, 
right? So that's one. Uh, oh, yes. So this, oh God, that is the thing that bothers me the most about this. This just slides, pops in overhead. Oh, oh, oh. oh, look at that. Yes. Much better. This. All right, so now we got proper foot there. So that that comes down on us. Hey, can we cut to a commercial? No? No, there's actually no one there that I'm talking to? If you want, I can make dad noises, too. Ugh. Ugh. These parts come out. Oh, I see. I gotta <laughs> unlock the thing and then lock the thing back up again. Uh, it's clever. It's simple, but it's clever. Arrgh. Oh, and then this thing. this. That, that is pretty clever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just died in your arms tonight. There we go. Hey, it worked. Now you can actually see what I'm doing. All right, so we got this guy to work on. You know, I wish instructions were as easy a, in uh, in life as they are in, in here. You just take a picture and you go and you write change. Then you take another picture and you write change. Another picture and you write change. I wish I could just go into like a board meeting and just have a bunch of pictures and just go change, 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 finish. But life's not that easy. All right, let's put a uh, hook together. I won't hook because that is in the way. Yeah, I said yeah. That would peg in. 
It did what it was supposed to do. Alright, now somehow these things go here. Ah. So they actually replace. These connectors. Interesting. Very interesting. I was wondering about that. So those replace those connectors. And then I assume the head. All right, well, you know, we'll figure it out. What's the uh, what's the worst that could happen? Right? You know what I'm saying? Watch this fall apart spectacularly. I find that grabbing it by the crotch helps profusely. It's already looking better. All right. So we've attached this. Devastator is standing. I'm going to continue looking at the instructions to pretend I know what's going on. Yes, oh, yeah. yes, indeed. Ah, see, I knew there was a trick to it. So it doesn't go like this goes like this, it's a hook, and this actually I might have to lower him to, to see what's going on. Yes. See now Prow is the head of Devastator. Did you ever think you'd see that in the comics? Prowl is the leader of the Constructicons and the head of Devastator. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, there was a peg there. There was a peg missing. Let's put this piece on. Where does this piece go? Click. And click. Arr, look! Now for the piece de resistance. Ooh, ah! Dev Prowl. Prowlistator. Very nice. Well, I am definitely happy with this. The hands are a bit loose, a bit wobbly. They're on a ball joint, but this is pretty cool. I have so many other Devastators that, you know, from third party guys that I, I needed one to like represent the comic books, 
because I do love the comics. All right, that's it. Go, uh, go buy this if you don't have it already.